And that's what's so marvellous about this proposal. Um, I do believe, Minister, that the Eagle Line super train will revolutionise train travel in the new century, um, London to Edinburgh in super fast time. Well, that's great if it can get from London to Edinburgh as fast as that. I mean, what is it? It's just a fraction of a second. <laughs> No, no. The, well, the actual train wouldn't be quite as fast as that. I think going from London to Edinburgh is about three and a half hours. Right. Yes, of course. Sorry, I should say that train there, though. There's no way we could give you the franchise if your trains were going to be that small. <laughs> no, that's a, this is a model of. of of the train, this the actual train would be, um, but would well be the size of a normal train. Of course, yes, of course, the actual train will be bigger, and if it's bigger, then it can get from here to here much quicker because that really isn't such a big distance, is it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sorry, I see. I see. No, this, this isn't Britain. This is a map of Britain, and uh, Britain's a lot is bigger than this. Yes, obviously. These are all obviously smaller versions of everything, but then doesn't that stand to reason that... This may sound like a stupid question. No, please. Well, if the trains are going to be bigger and the country is bigger, then won't we need a... a giant <laughs> to push the train? Yes, that's silly, isn't it? The, the trains aren't... They're not pushed by people. They're powered. Yes, 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 I've got it now. Don't know what I was thinking. Ah! Oops, sorry, are you all yeah, right? I, just for a second, I thought I might be... might be a giant, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a giant. No, yes, there are no giants. That's what makes this college as great an institution as it is today. So now all that remains is for me to hand over the cheque for £10,000 to the man who's made it all possible and done so much work, Mr Peter Newsgarten. <laughs>